channel. Today's video is going to be what to expect during basic military training graduation. Graduation weekend. So to not make this intro super long, let's just get straight to the video. Now as far as I know for the Air Force, they do have four days for their graduation weekend. There's the coin ceremony, there's the airman's run, and then you get to spend time with them, have the town pass and all that fun stuff. My boyfriend specific, he graduated in December. His graduation was exactly seven and a half weeks from when he left to boot camp until the first day that we got to see him graduating. So for the first day, which was a Thursday for us, they have two briefings. They have one at 7 a.m. and they have one at 9 a.m. They're both the same briefing. You can decide which one you prefer to go to. Um, we went to the 7 a.m. just to get it over with and each briefing is about an hour. During the briefing, they had mentioned that the Airman's Run was gonna be canceled due to weather conditions. The Airman's Run is about, it starts at 8.30 in the morning. So if it would have happened right after the briefing, we would have went straight to take our seats. So we didn't get to see them do that. They did mention that we had to be in our seats by 10 o'clock. So 10.30 rolls around and that's when the honor grads come out. They start bringing out the band and the band starts playing. Really, really cool. I was just like, oh my god, we're over here freezing because the whole ceremony and everything is outside and we're like bundled up and wondering how the heck they're out there marching and I mean, they're, they are covered up, they're in their uniform. We were trying to figure out who is who. They're all bundled up, they had their, their hoodies on and they tied them up so you can only see their nose and their eyes and we're like, where the heck is Steven? So when the coin ceremony was over, we got to go down and tap out our airmen. So I got to tap out Steven, but right before I got to tap him out, I was like, okay, where, like, which one is he? I don't, I don't want to accidentally tap out the wrong person and then ruin it for whoever wanted to tap them out. Because the whole point of tapping them out is they have to, they have to stand there until someone touches them, it doesn't matter who it is, and then they can move. So it's kind of like a special thing for family or girlfriends, spouses, you know, to tap out their military member and say hello for the first time after almost eight weeks. So I was like, Seriously? it wasn't until I saw his stepdad recording him, like just standing there, and I was like, I turn around and I'm like, I, oh, I knew the whole time it was him, like I knew it was him, but I, I didn't want to tap him out and then have it not be him. But then once I saw his stepdad recording, I was like, it, that's him. I felt so bad, he was just standing there and he was trying so hard not to laugh the whole time. So it was a really special moment. I'm really grateful that I was able to do that. So we had Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with our airmen. That Thursday after the coin ceremony, we had to stay on base. They didn't have a town pass until that Friday and Saturday. So for that Thursday, we'd stay on base, which wasn't bad. Um, there's a lot of things to do on base. You can eat, you can bowl, you can watch a movie. The only downside to all that was everyone's family was on base. So everything was an extra weight and there were just long lines everywhere. So that was the only thing that was kind of hard. We got to check out this really cool, cute little museum. I don't know if they had a name for it. I didn't even know where we were going in. We just, Stephen told us drive here and we drove there and I'm like, I thought we were going bowling. And, um, sorry, I'm just getting over a cold. And I was like, this isn't bowling. So it was, it was just a cute little museum that we got to check out. And then afterward, it was really cool because they were hosting like a Thanksgiving dinner. His graduation was just two weeks after Thanksgiving. So everyone that was there didn't get to spend Thanksgiving with their airmen. And I think it was $15 a person. The line really wasn't that bad. So we got to have our Thanksgiving, another Thanksgiving dinner with them, which was really nice. And then that was pretty much our day. He was just giving us a tour of the base and what there is to do and see. And um, his curfew was 8. Um, and that's every night. Every night was 8 o'clock. They had to be back in their dorm and checked in. So right before we did head back to our hotel, it started snowing. Snowing in Texas! Texas. This is so cool! Oh. 
no. Oh my god. <laughs> Your hair oh, is crazy. Crazy. Look how pretty it looks. I'm oh. loving this. It's so cool. I wish Steven could have seen this. We'll show oh Steven later. And we were really surprised because it escalated so quick. Next day, Friday morning, was supposed to be the graduation parade. Now, because it was so early in the morning and it, ha it was snowing the night before, they had to cancel the full-on parade part of the graduation. That was kind of unfortunate. They had to cancel it because it was going to be on the fairgrounds and there, it was a grassy area, and because again it was super early in the morning, the ice hadn't melted. So it was just hazardous reasons that they did that. So I mean, it was understandable, but still, like, there's so many things being taken away because of the weather. So instead of it being all together, they, they did it by squadron. Um, he was the 320th squadron, so we went to his building. So everyone that had a member in the 320th squadron, walk down, walk to that building, they had someone escorting you. So they had their graduation ceremony. It felt like it lasted like 30 minutes. That's what it felt like. And you had to tap them out for the second time. That was pretty much the whole ceremony. It kind of sucks because it felt like they got cheated from it, from the whole, like the real experience of it. But we can't, we couldn't control the weather, so. So right after we tapped him out for the second time, he took us up the stair, up the staircase to his dorm, and there were so many people trying to get there. So we got to give us a tour of his room, which was honestly, actually it was his room. We got to get a tour of his dorm, which was actually really nice. Yeah, steel toes and then regular combat boots. This is so this is my bed. Nice. Normally I have a chair here. Wait. It's downstairs that you guys were sitting in. Oh, did you guys have to take your chair? Yeah. It's my weapon that we do all of our training and stuff with. Skinny side of my wall locker, this is where we keep all of our ABUs and our PT uniforms are down there. Wait, different PT, you get red, blue. I'll show you. Once the, there's the Air Force uniform and then my squadron uniform. So we have different ones. And then this is where I keep all my blues. This is on this side. Oh, cool. And then That's nice. Down here is my clothing drawer. That's a lot this is where we roll and fold all our socks, which I don't have any clean socks right now. <laughs> Underwear, <laughs> t-shirts. Uh, no, no. Where's all your letters and stuff? Yeah, I'll show you. So this is where we keep everything that's not like military issued. Oh, is in our security drawer. So this is where we keep all of our toiletries, <laughs> all our toiletries, letters, all that stuff. We keep uh, in here my extra. And that's literally it. This is all that I have. That's all you need. It's so nice, though. Um, that's where I keep all my dirty laundry. Small. Yeah, everything's something you're not used to having a small laundry bag. How did this December eight? Because that's. Today was my official You're graduation day. Uh, yeah. Today is when I officially graduated. I like that I, yeah, that's. It's on both sides. Yeah, so as you rank up, you buy new pens. Um, you guys haven't even seen, but. Then you can I know. Look at this. Put it in here. Yeah. Wow, you're looking spiffy there. Very You already did that. See, so this is my this is service unit. Uh, so I got my two ribbons. Because I, I, I wanted to be able to take photos and, and not not worry about, yeah. We were able to go downtown and kind of explore. We hadn't even visited downtown yet. So it was our first time going downtown too. We did the river walk. We visited the Alamo. The Alamo is really, really pretty. You aren't allowed to take pictures inside, but you, you can take pictures outside. Once we finished hanging around downtown, we went back to the hotel with everyone. He rested up a little bit because for seven and a half weeks, he has to wake up 5.45, so he's like, I want to take a nap. <laughs> so I completely forgot to mention this. So during the briefing from the first day, like I said, their curfew is at 8 p.m., but the only way to extend that time is they give you the option to purchase 
either basketball tickets or hockey tickets that they were they were selling. So we're like, heck yeah, like we're gonna buy some basketball tickets for him. They were kind of pricey. They were sixty-five dollars a piece, and that's for like I'm not even kidding nosebleed seats. We were at the very, very, very top. Like there was no one behind us. That's how high we were for sixty-five dollars. So they were pricey, but. I mean, it's an experience. They get to stay out longer, which is nice. They don't have to be home. We're back at their dorm by 8. We made a night out of it. It was really cool. So we got to see the Spurs play. Don't ask me against you because I don't remember. So that was cool. We did that Saturday night. So Saturday morning, 9 was the earliest we could pick them up. And because it was our last day with the town pass, we're like, okay, what are we going to do now? We hadn't really taken any pictures um, while being there, so he was like, I want to go somewhere really pretty. I want to take pictures with you guys. So I was looking on my phone, like, okay, where do you go in San Antonio, Texas? Like, things to see, like, trying to, like, find something really fast. And then I found the Japanese tea gardens, and I'm like, why don't we go there? You don't have to pay when you get in or anything. And we're like, all right, let's go there. And luckily, you know, it was a really pretty day. It was the first day where there were no clouds in the sky, wasn't raining, the sun was out. So we went to the Japanese tea gardens and we're like, oh my god, it was, it was beautiful. I highly, highly recommend going to the Japanese tea gardens. And make sure that you go on a really pretty day. Check your weather app. Make sure that it's not going to be raining. I, I can't even describe it. I filmed being there, but it doesn't compare to actually being there. So for the last day, it was Sunday. Yeah, it was Sunday. They, we again, we had to stay on base for Sunday. Their curfew this time was 6 p.m. And it kind of worked out anyway because our flight back to SF was at 6. So we had to leave him a little early. We left him at, at like around 4. But he was with a friend. He got to meet up with a friend and his family and hang out with them until their, until their curfew. He took us to the fairgrounds to see what it was like and what it would have been like, kind of just going through um, what they had been practicing the whole time. It was, it was really pretty. Um, they had a lot of their aircrafts there. I love learning about aircraft carriers and all these different planes that that they fly and I love him talking about stuff like that just because when at least I, I never had an interest in the military and not not just joining but like in general up until you know we went to an air show earlier last year and I was just thinking like it's like its own little community being either in the military or um, a relative who is in the military it's, it's really nice because then you you make friends with, you know, with these people and then their families and then someone like me, I got to meet a couple of his friends and their girlfriends. I feel, even though I don't know them, I feel really close to them because, you know, we have someone in the military and we almost feel like we're going through the same thing so you don't feel alone while that's, while that's all going on because when he first left it was really hard. Um, I was so used to him always being around, and and yeah, it was just just an, just a whole other experience. Um, but I'm really glad that he did it. I'm so glad that he did it. Um, but yeah, again, getting off track now. Um, we went to the fairgrounds and just walked around in a whole loop and decided like let's have a picnic here. So we went to one of the grocery stores. It was really nice. It was again. It was another really pretty day. Clear skies. wasn't raining. It's just funny because it's like half of the time we were there, it was freezing, raining, wet, cold outside, and then the other half, once all the ceremonies are over and the parade's over, it's freaking like beautiful outside. So we had to do one last thing before we left him. And that was go bowling. And luckily, the wait wasn't that long. There were a, there were tons of people bowling. I have never seen a bowling alley that packed before in my life. I think the wait was maybe like 20 minutes. Really wasn't that bad. Um, we got to bowl like a game and a half. And the reason that like I'm talking about it is because like that was our thing before Stephen left. It was me, his sister and his best friend would all go bowling like at least 
two to three times a week before he left. Like, I don't know why, we just got really into it. And I actually learned how to do it to where I was good at it. And once I got good at it, I was like, okay, I kind of like it now. That was a lot of fun. And then four o'clock hit and we're like, and we had to say our see you laters again. And it was hard. It gets, it gets a little easier every time. Um, I did get to see him another time after that. He surprised us for Christmas. But that's a whole other story. Uh, but yeah, that was our experience seeing him graduate. Again, it sucked that he did get some things taken away because of the weather. But for the, for the most part, it was, it was an awesome experience. And he really enjoyed it. He just, you know, wanted to spend time with us because he hadn't seen us in forever. And, you know, we're all a really close family. So he was just happy to see us. We couldn't have asked it for any other way. It was, it was a great family trip and experience. So that pretty much leads us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am just giving you my experience on it. Um, just what to expect because I know right before we left, I was researching, I was trying to look up YouTube videos of what, it, what everything would look like and just what to expect. Um, I like having a visual before doing something. So I hope this kind of helped. If you have any family members or your boyfriend or anything going in and you want to know what it's like to see them graduate, that was my experience. I do want to continue making more military related videos in the future. If you guys want to see anything, um, let me know. You know, leave me some comments and I would really appreciate that. Alright you guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye! You guys, you guys, our last day, our last day with Bobo. Really? <laughs> any words, any words, last day with Bobo? Uh, it's not a I have tomorrow. Oh, last full day. Wow. <laughs> I cried in the car listening to Bobo. To I fall really, apart. Oh, wait, take a picture, ready? That was a video. Oh, oh did I take a picture? You can, what do you want? Two, three.